Okay, today I will be doing combustion analysis and empirical formula once more. Now the question reads, combustion of 0.255 grams isopropyl alcohol produces 0.561 grams carbon dioxide and 0.306 grams of water. Determine the amount of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in the sample and hence the empirical formula. Okay, in order to find the empirical formula, we're going to need a couple things and to find the amount of each, we're going to need the mass. So simply, we're first going to calculate the moles and we'll start with the carbon dioxide first. Now by doing a question like, by, like this, you cannot quickly assume what the number of moles of carbon in the CO2 is. So simply, what we're going to do here is going to say, and you know from the formula that number of moles is equal to your mass over your molar mass, which is equal to a mass of 0 0.561 divided by 44 grams this is so because you know that, car that carbon is roughly 12 oxygen is 16 times 2 and your total is 44 that's how that comes about. And if you work this out, let me just calculate this real quick. Um, so that's 0 0.561 divided by 44. You get 0 0.0128 moles. This is saying that 0 0.0128 Zero one two eight moles of carbon is in CO2. And the next thing we're going to calculate is the mass of the carbon in the carbon dioxide. And to do this, we are going to see um, mass of carbon is equal to zero point zero one two eight times twelve which is equal to zero point one five four grams of carbon okay cool now the next thing that we're going to do here is calculate the number of moles for hydrogen and number of moles is equal to the mass and we notice that hydrogen is only inside of the water so mass of hydrogen is 0 0.306 so we have 0 0.306 and the water is 18 because hydrogen is 1 times 2 and oxygen is 16 total of 18 and there it is and that's how we got the 18 here so your number of moles here is let me calculate that 0 0.306 divided by 18 you get 0 0.017 moles of h 2 and Hence, there is 0 0.017 times 2, because there are two hydrogens, equals 0 0.034 moles of hydrogen in H2O. Okay. One second, let me 
Ross this out real quick. And afterwards, you're gonna find the mass of hydrogen. Now, mass of hydrogen is 0 0.034 times 1, which is equal to 0 0.034 grams. Okay? Cool. And now, we're gonna calculate your number of your mass of oxygen present and this is simply your total mass which is 0 0.255 minus the sum of the amount of carbon you have which is let's see where is that that's 0 0.154 grams so that's 0 0.154 grams plus your total mass of hydrogen which is 0 0.034 grams and this will give you let me just calculate that real quick this will give you 0 0.067 grams of oxygen now a number of moles of oxygen which is number of moles of oxygen is going to be your mass divided by your molar mass which is 0 0.067 divided by and we know oxygen is 16 and let me calculate that that's 0 0.067 divided by 16 so that is 0 0.0042 moles of oxygen so that's 0 0.0042 moles of oxygen and now we go to your empirical formula we found the amount of carbon which is 0 0.154 and the amount of hydrogen which is 0 0.034 grams and for oxygen which is 0 0.067 grams so that's one part of the question and the final part which is the empirical formula simply write these letters here carbon hydrogen oxygen I do it that way because it's simpler and we write the number of moles of each so for carbon that's 0 0.0128 hydrogen is 0 0.034 and oxygen is 0 0.0042 and we have the number of moles so now we simply find the mole ratio so that's 0 0.0042 divided by itself. 0 0.034 divided by 0 0.0042. And 0 0.0128 divided by 0 0.0042. And your answer would be you have one oxygen. One sec, let me just calculate this. Divide point zero zero four two. This will give you roughly eight point zero eight roughly eight point one and the other value will be basically three point zero five and these will simply round off you we'll simply round the 3.05 down to 3 which will give you 3 carbons and we'll do this similar to hydrogen which will give you 8 hydrogens and oxygen which will be 1 so your answer is C3 since it's an alcohol C3 H7OH and that's your answer that's the empirical formula for isopropyl alcohol or simply the other name for it is propanol and that's the question for today thank you